Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Pat Simon. And I'm Amanda Barron. We begin tonight with a controversial project that would have taken over part of Coonskin Park in Kanawha County. It's been grounded for now. We are talking about the Jaeger Airport runway expansion plan. The environmental impact statement needed for it to move forward is now on hold. 13 News reporter Lane Ball shows us why this decision was made and what's going to happen next. It's been a hot button issue for a little less than two years. Our argument all along has been that we, we have a functioning airport uh, that is safe and operational and uh, it, we don't need to destroy our park. In 2022, the West Virginia International Jaeger Airport announced a plan to expand their runway, which would cut through part of the neighboring Coonskin Park covering playgrounds, shelters and hiking trails. And just this past year, the airport received a grant worth a little more than $2 million from the Federal Aviation Administration to go toward the third phase of an environmental impact study. But now, airport officials say they're putting that on hold to allow additional planning. It's unclear when the project will resume, but for those who are against the expansion, they're taking this as a sign of hope. Now, I've been hiking through this area with the representative of the Save Coonskin Park Group, and he tells me they're celebrating this as a victory while still continuing the long-term fight. Is it a war won? Possibly, possibly not. Today's victory is a huge victory for us, but I want to continue to fight the war. For now, this portion of the park will remain untouched. If and when this comes up again, whether it's whether it's to resume this current EIS after a year or two pause or whether it's 20 years down the road. Now, I reached out to the FAA for more details on why the decision was made. And officials say, quote, the airport changed the focus of the project. And after learning this, I reached back out to airport officials for more information, but I have not heard back yet. I will keep reaching out, though. In Charleston, Lane Ball, 13 News.